guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm doing a soft glam look using Dynair and my to-go airbrush gun. So I'm just gonna go in and do a soft kind of top layer or first layer on my skin just to give me an even base. I'm gonna be doing some work on the eyes, so I'm not gonna go too heavy um, until the very end. I'm gonna add in a little bit more and finish off the skin. But I, for some reason I always like to, you know, work with a clean palette. So I. I have it, I find it really distracting when I can see blemishes or discoloration. So I just like to do a nice light layer as my first layer. And I'm just going in all over the forehead, nose. I'm gonna do a little bit on the eyelids to act like a tiny primer. And today was a video because everything was going wrong. So this is the second time I'm filming this. So I'm gonna use a spoon to do my cut crease and I'm taking Fawn Brown by Dynair. Sorry, just hair in the way, which will totally uh, wreck it. So I'm just uh, pressing the spoon um, edge into the cup of my eye and just going a little bit above. And I'm just doing a soft cut crease. I don't want to go too high into the brow. As you can see, I just did a nice first little layer. I decided to go in and do that first. You can do it any way you want. There's no wrong way. There's just different ways. So if you like to do your cut crease last, that's totally your prerogative. I'm just playing today. So now I'm just going to go in and do the other eye. And I'm just going to very slowly and gently. I'm just doing an even, slow pressure, very lightly through the eye. Don't be too worried if you go a little bit higher. See, I just touched it and kind of blended that out. You can take a little Q-tip and just tap it. This is just what I found to be a really easy way to do the cut crease. And I'm gonna go in and just go into the corner a little bit more. And I'm just applying even pressure and just very gently. This compressor does not have speed dials, so you have to play with your pressure and practice. So I recommend this if you've been doing airbrush a little bit longer. But you know, go for it, try it out. It's, that's how you learn. Okay, so we've got the cut crease in there. And I'm just gonna put in just, uh, no, I'm putting in that's just peachy on the base, which is a nice peachy colored shimmer, which looks really good on my skin tone. Um, I already have a bit of the um, foundation on there, so it's acting as kind of a light primer slash shadow. And then I'm gonna go in and do the just peachy. This is a really easy way to do a cut crease, and it also gives you a really soft glamour look. So just the peachy color adds a little bit of warmth. And we still have work to do on the skin. So as you can see, just add a little bit of shine in there. I'm gonna go in and add in my bronzer, which basically I'm just using a darker foundation, the Soft Glow 146, which gives me a tan color. So I'm going in and using it as a bronzer and I'm just hollowing out the cheeks, just below the cheekbone where I do the blush and along the edges and it's up and out that I'm spraying and I'm gonna go along the nose and a little bit on the chin. And I also go through the neck. So now I'm gonna go in and I'm just gonna add in a little bit more color. This is the bronzer. And I'm going in wherever the sun would touch. Temples, hollow of the cheek, just below where you put the blush, the edges. Um, and like I said, I'm just taking a darker shade of foundation, which I wouldn't normally wear, and using it to contour. I'm going into the sides of the nose and into the, the eye area and the tip of the nose. And just doing a soft contour. I don't really need to do a lot of myself, but if you had a nose that you wanted to disguise and make more pointed, this is a great way to do it by doing the contouring on each side of the nose. And then I'm cutting into those cheekbones. I like a chiseled look. And along the jaw, and that's where I went through the neck. So now we've got the two shades of foundation on and the basic eye. I'm gonna go back in and I'm just gonna add a little definition underneath the eye with the fawn brown. You can't really go wrong with the browns if you're just learning cut creases or makeup because they blend really nice. So and I find the fawn brown is a warm brown and I'm doing kind of a soft glam look where I want it to be warmed up. So I'm just adding in a little line underneath it just gives you a little bit of pop and blends in with that cut crease. And I'm just gonna blend out the edges 
and just create kind of a, a shaded effect. And then just kind of line lightly on the top. I'm just blurring it out. And that's our kind of foundation to the uh, cat eye. Now I'm going in with the, uh, I'm doing magnetic lashes today because I wanted to see how they would hold with the Dynair product as well as just how well they'd hold. This one's called Crowd Pleaser. It's a beautiful full lash by Kiss. And it has five magnets. It claims to be super strong. And I know there's some issues with magnet lashes blowing off in the wind. I think if you're going for a drink or hanging out with friends, it would be fine. But um, I wanted to see how secure these were. I'm just gonna go in and just dry the eyes with some clean air. So you want your liner to get tacky. And before you put the magnets on it or magnetic lashes on, it helps hold it. And I didn't trim these lashes. I wanted to see if they would go on and just hold fully. Um, I kind of botched up a pair by not trimming them exactly to the next magnet. And you have to if you're gonna trim them so that they hold because these aren't using latex glue. So it's, it's using the magnets to, to adhere. That corner kept popping and it could be my eyes. And I went in and I added in more magnetic liner and then they say that you can add liner on top to reinforce it and I did that and it still kept popping. And finally, it set into place, I held it down and I think the liner just really needs to get tacky. You need it to be half dry and maybe mine was just a little too wet and the corners are always challenging with regular glue. So I'm gonna go in and put the other one and I'll build up that liner. This liner, magnetic liner, is black, so it's going on top of the liner I used, and I used a Wet n' Wild liquid pencil, and I had sprayed with a bit of browns, just to give it kind of that soft ombre look. And there we go, we got them on. And they're looking really pretty with the cut crease. So I'm testing out new backgrounds and lighting, so let me know if you can see this, if it's working, if it needs to be brighter. I'm gonna try and add a little light to it. I've got another light I'm using next week, so um, please comment below. And if you like this video, please like, share, click that bell for notifications on my latest videos. It really does help me out, and I hope you're finding the info useful. So um, I felt like the look was still a little dirty, like or just needed a little bit more smoothing out and so I'm going in with my light 117 which has a pink tone to it I'm going underneath the eyes to brighten and I'm doing like a soft triangle and adding it in as my highlight so I'm just going up and around the eyes the tip of the nose down the center around the mouth a little bit I don't want to take out all that contour I did I just want to blend it out and give the makeup a bit of a pop I felt like it didn't have enough coverage you can see I got a little hot spot there, so I'm going to blend, blend. Yeah, I was having trouble with my gun today. I needed to cut the hose. It kept falling off, and I kept jamming up. And it's just the nature of it. You have to pinch that needle. You have to cut the hose. But the benefits outweigh the, the cons. Um, it's just part of having makeup. It's just like you have to wash your brushes, and brushes go flat, or they go fuzzy, and you have to get new ones, and etc. So it's just part of using tools. So I'm going to go in there, reinforcing those lashes again, those magnetics. And they, I mean, I have to say, I still have them on and they held. I just, the initial, making sure those ends were nice and tight. And I went okay, in and reinforced so just reinforcing those coats, magnets. And then I left it alone. And they and held all day. So I, I just okay. made sure I kept checking but, those um, corners. Like a friend had mentioned to me when she was doing it on a client and it was bad weather out, it turned into a big mess. So you just have to be really careful. I'm not sure. I'm thinking about trying out other brands to see how well they hold because I noticed in a lot of the marketing, they're talking about how there's a stronger and how they have six magnets instead of four or five, etc. Anyway, I hope you like this video. Soft glam look. Like, share, and subscribe. Thanks, guys.